Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Top Notes with Steven. I am Steven, your party host, your paragon of virtue, your Sherpa through all this fragrance journey. And today we have a new release that I was finally able to get my hands on for a discount. It's a new release from the house of Armani, from the nose of Alberto Marais. It is Aqua de Geo Parfum. Yes, finally able to get my hands on this. Something that I've been looking forward to getting or picking up uh, at least the last three or four months since it's been released. Uh, Everyone knows that Aqua de Gio and Nautica are number one sellers on many websites only because they smell good, they're clean, they're fresh. Everyone knows that. If you followed me for a while now, that you know that Aqua de Gio is one of the most selling and successful brands out there ever and I was able to finally get my hands on this little gem. Now, let's get into it. This is a first impressions. I have not smelled it, as you see. I just got it in the mail. Not a sponsored video by any sorts of the means, so this is all on my own dime. It's my, my impression. Let's give this a try, hopefully it's good. Check out the atomizer. Mmm, atomizer is very good. Now the notes on this one, this particular one, marine notes, bergamot, rosemary, clary sage, geranium, patchouli. Right off the bat, that, that DNA of Aqua de Gio is just there. Everything that you expect from Aqua de Gio, it is so wonderful, very creamy. Everything that you expect from Aqua de Gio is there. Mm, that bergamot, that sage, that rosemary, the, aqu the aquamarine notes just pop off the texture strip. It's something that, from what, I to from what I've been told, regular Aqua de Gio EDT has been reformulated. It doesn't smell as good as it did in the 90s. I think with Profundo and Profumo, they ramped it up a little bit, but this, this is the old heads say it's what it smells like back in the 90s. And it's, my goodness, it is, mm, the patchouli is just right there. And I cannot say enough about this. Mm something that I look forward to, something that I'll be trying as we get into more fall here, as we head on to the winter months. I think, personally, in my opinion, you could wear this, and I rarely say this about a cologne, all seasons, all occasions. Mm, as it wets, as the dry down hits, that geranium, that rosemary just pops off the page more than the wet spray. Mm. What can I say that already hasn't been said? I'm excited to get this one. This is definitely, definitely very Miami events. Definitely a 9.8 on the scale of top notes. My goodness, this is something to behold. And fragrances don't come across this like this a lot if I'm giving it that much of praise. Now I do have Profumo, I do have regular. <clears throat> I have smelled Profundo and I've smelled Ascenza. Profumo and this are probably my favorites. Mm. It is so scrumptious, so decadent. 
Okay, I gotta stop smiling it before I go into frenzy. Thank you, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure you're updated on all the updates that I give you every week. Give your boy a big old thumbs up, and as always guys, stay blessed.